When going through all your gear before a hunting trip, you don't want to forget about the small items that will make the biggest impact. You know, most every hunting camp that you go to has got that table, it's got that pile of goodies and gear out there that, that hunters are always using, and, and ours is no different. I always keep a lot of stuff out here. I've got shooting sticks for people, uh, extra conquest sense, got my scouting cameras. One of the most important items I think that we have out here 12 months out of the year is our Sawyer uh, insect repellent. You know, this is designed to treat your clothing and gear. So when somebody first comes into camp and we're kind of doing our orientation for the week to come, I'll actually spend time talking about here's what's going on guys, here's the conditions that we're dealing with out there. And right now we've got a lot of bugs in the area. If you'll take some of this and treat your clothing right now, it'll be ready for the entire week. So this is something that you actually spray on your clothes and it's effective for up to six washes. A lot of people are very concerned about insect repellent and what it's gonna do in the field, maybe spooking their deer. This is actually odorless. So when you're preparing, make sure you've got something like this Sawyer geared up and on your clothing so you're gonna be able to be comfortable out there. You're not gonna spend your time swatting bugs and you're gonna be odorless. Once you've treated your clothes, uh, you know, that's basically a great asset, but you also want to take it a step further when you're getting ready to go out into the field. And Sawyer has some products designed to go on your skin, you know, that you can put in a few places. I like to actually put it behind my ears and around my ears. I like to put it on my hands. I like to put it, you know, around my waist and places like that. Give myself one more layer of protection, one more reason why those bugs aren't gonna come and bother me. Uh, nothing's worse than getting out into those situations on the water or in the field and being, you know, bothered by bugs when you could have avoided that entire situation.